I personally think that's what this is. I think that the Systems Alliance is being dumb and they're like, hey, let's make some AI on seven units. What could go wrong? If I had played OG Mass Effect, I'm pretty sure I would 100% be on the bandwagon. That's like, yeah, perfect destroys cannon. Guys, the reason there's a Geth wearing clothes is because Shepard just didn't want to be a naked Geth. I mean, I already think that the Sun 7 isn't human, but like, let's throw some chaos. Why the heck not? It could be Shepard. The Mass Effect team has reduced us to looking at neck turns. You guys can't convince me otherwise that this is human or something else. I don't even know. Because look at the helmet, okay? I just, I really need to point this out because I can't unsee it. Okay, so this thing, right? I, I, I don't know, but right over here, there is a gigantic space where a person's head cannot fit. There is a gap there, the person's head would stop just at the underneath lip portion. So either one of two things, this person's head is like this because you you can't fit head there because there's a literal gap or it's an AI. <laughs> I just, also the way that the, the, the head kind of like, the brain is highlighted, you know? Like it just, it seems so high tech and just, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't unsee it. You can't fit an Asari head in there. The only thing that would fit this is maybe a Solarian's head and there's no Solarian, like there's five fingers. Um, there's there's no the bent legs of the Solarians and stuff like that. I just, I don't know. To me, N7s are either human or something new's happening. And the fact that Gamble said not everything is as it seems, I'm like, okay, it's either not a human or it's not an N7 or both. It's such a harsh helmet too, you know? Like how, since it's a helmet, you need to be able to fit a head inside the helmet, right? So that means that the head is very small. Like, let me try to go into paint to show you guys what I mean here. Like, you know what I mean? This, this is the shape of this person's head because of that divot. And that's where the eyes would be. I just, I could see a new alien being shaped like this. I don't know why there would be an N7. Maybe they stole an N7's coat and stuff like that. Like, sure, I'm, I'm here for that. But like the helmet can't be completely conforming to the head, right? You need to be able to put your head inside the helmet. Could be a Batarian, but they have multiple pairs of eyes. Why would there just be one eye slit? Maybe a Drell? Drell fingers are like webbed. Um, so like they wouldn't be able to, to hold the gun like this because their hands are webbed. A female Turian with that helmet? Uh, the fingers. There's, uh, there's five fingers and Turians don't have five fingers. I, I've tried every combination of alien guys. It's either something new that we don't know, but it's not a human. Like with this weirdly shaped brain, because there is a space in between, I'm like, I feel like they're trying to highlight that. Like it's an AI processing thing. It's a SAM platform, Chad. Might be onto something, Chad. That's possibility. Also, I can't see anything out of these glasses. Oh, there's a gigantic fingerprint, that's why. The teaser poster really resembles Edie in the concept art from Mass Effect 3? I don't think it's Edie. Unless the explanation is Edie died, got uploaded to the Normandy, and then got uploaded into the new N7. But then why would the N7 program do that? True, but then why are virtual aliens becoming in sevens? I would say like the average Mass Effect fan wouldn't know about virtual aliens because it wasn't a part of the main plot and stuff like that. If that's all of a sudden as presented to us, I'm, I'm not sure people would buy into that, you know? Like this, this thing, like it, it has to be something somewhat familiar. I'll go back to like, it's an N7. Either it's a fake N7, so somebody stole the outfit or something, or the N7s willingly let this person in. Like my prevailing theory is that the Systems Alliance is dabbling with things that they shouldn't and are letting AIs become N7s. I personally think that's what this is. I truly do. I think that the Systems Alliance is being dumb because they lost Shepard and they're like, hey, let's make some AI N7 units. What could go wrong? And that might be one of the plot points in the next game. It goes wrong. <laughs> Spoilers, it goes wrong. If you guys read Mass Effect uh, Initiative, the humans are doing really weird things. Like they are doing really messed up things. So I, I think something weird's happening with them, but like I, in my mind, it's like Hackett retires and then everything just goes to hell. Hey guys, this thing is totally an AI because it doesn't breathe, but I don't know. Is it breathing here? 
Does it breathe? Like, if you're in this position, you would have to at least see the chest go like... Or something, right? However, they don't breathe. Or at least their chest doesn't. It's like they're... <laughs> They're breathing from their stomach, that's why. It's past 1 a.m. for me, this is too interesting. Oh, I really appreciate that. However, if you if it is that late, this stream is gonna be accessible to all of you guys. Guys, I don't know how the heck I'm gonna cut this into a 15 minute video. <laughs> I am so desperate for Shepard to be back so that they can have their happy ending that they could do anything and I would be like, yeah, do it. Like, just, just do it. I think besides for like cloning, because obviously that one it's like, been there, done that with the Citadel DLC, where you establish that a clone is not the same thing as the original. So to me, I think they're going to do like a soul related thing, but that's just me. I'm desperate, okay? I am desperate and that is why my theories are this desperate. The one thing I'm like 100% sure of is they're not going to do Shepard as an enemy. That would like lose the last shred of the fan base that they still have. Like that would just be... Oh, I just know. What if we play as the old squad looking for Shepard? I don't think that's what's going to happen. Like, I can't see a, an entire game going by looking for Shepard only. Um, because, like, there has to be an antagonist. And then it's like, okay, who would be against that? I can't come up with a plot for it, I guess. We certainly could. I just, if they're trying to go back to their roots, I think that would be a little bit too new, similar to Andromeda. And they said that they're not looking to do, like, an exploration style thing. So I, I would say no. If... I had played OG Mass Effect back in 2012 and stuff. I'm pretty sure I would 100% be on the bandwagon. That's like, yeah, perfect destroys canon and just all of that. Because you've had like 10 years to try to make that make sense, you know? And I, I think I totally would have been one of the people that are like, yeah, I'm going to gravitate toward the thing where Shepard lives. Just geth and Edie be damned and stuff. But I just, yeah, I, play, I, I played it two years ago. <laughs> for the first time and then immediately got to watch a trailer for the next Mass Effect. So yeah, I, I, I don't have like things that I'm carrying with me through like all of this stuff. But it's also why when I saw that note from Mac Walters that was like, Shepard is alive, like Perfect Destroy has to be addressed. Because thinking on it, if I was like a Perfect Destroy, like, yes, this is it, Shepard's alive. Like you need to somehow cater to everybody. I don't know how, but. Do you think we'll finally see the Raloi? I think so, yes. I think they might have shown it to us in the poster, um, potentially. Here, let me get this for you. The Raloi, I think is right, I think is right over, right, right here. I think that this is the Raloi because it looks like they have a beak. Okay, Corian sitting on the far right. Corian sitting on the, what? Which right? <laughs> Ryder looking helmets in their teasers so far. I, I, I'm convinced this is Ryder. Legit. The long neck guy on the balcony. I, I don't know who. I don't know what. Guys, this, it's not a Solarian. I just, I agree though. What the heck is this thing? Could the Geth by Liara be the copy of Shepard uploaded into the Geth consensus during Mass Effect 3? <gasps> that is a take. Can you imagine if this is Shepard? <laughs> Guys. The reason there's a Geth wearing clothes is because Shepard just didn't want to be a naked Geth. I'm so here, guys. Yeah. Geth part. Why not? Guys, this is this is Shepard. Top of the stairs looks like a Corian helmet. Okay. Well, I know what you're talking about, dude. I know what you're talking about. Is it the one that's right that is right next to my screen right now? Or oh, are you talking about this? Yeah, the 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 person that is right directly right over here. Why do they keep pointing to the one that's right over here? I could see that, like that, that could be Tally, guys. And I love how they just, they put a, they put a light right there. So you're just like, who knows? Could the long neck person on the balcony be the N7? They seem really tall. I feel like when, when we were seeing like in the trailer, the thing kind of going up, they weren't that tall. N7 has a long neck and coat, can't argue against it. The N7 doesn't have that long a neck though, right? Not that long. Okay, how do I, one moment, like, they. They, they don't have a long neck. They have like the shortest neck I've ever seen. Well, look at how short. Unless you're saying the, the whole like area down here is also, unless I'm seeing that completely wrong. Like to me, it's kind of Solarian-esque in terms of long neck. Watch the trailer when the N7 turns their neck is abnormally long. Let's do this guys. 
<laughs> okay, we are watching the N7 turn to see if their neck is long. I see what you guys mean. In the trailer, when the character turns around, possible dynamics me of when Shepard repeats himself to the Prothean hologram. Wait, what? Oh no, guys, are we doing this? Okay, one second. I mean, I already think that the Sense Heaven isn't human, but like, let's throw some chaos. Why the heck not? It could be Shepard. <laughs> could be AI Shepard, right? Shepard hasn't turned yet, right? Is this the turn? This is not the turn. Did I miss the turn? It's towards the end of the convo, either the one Thessia or two, the elusive man. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one is not here. Okay, I chose the wrong clip. One second. We can still do this is like right near the end, I think, right? No, I can't stop looking at Shepard's neck. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's go oh, is this it? Turn, Shepard. Oh, that's what you're talking about? Were you talking about that right there? This turn? I see what you're seeing. Oh no. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Get into the uh, boom. That's really fast. After the after the fight? Wait, is after the fight? <laughs> is this the wrong neck turn? The Mass Effect team has reduced us to looking at neck turns. It's like fair. I'm here for it. Must be this. I don't even know why we're committing to this because I don't think it's Shepard, but we're here now. <laughs> okay, 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 guys, this is it. Bye, Kai Lang. Literally nobody missed you. Nobody liked you. Just why? Even in the books, guys, Kai Lang sucks. <laughs> All right, gang, this is the neck turn. We are going to find out forever. Once and for all. Oh, is this it? Wait, guys, I don't think Shepard neck turns. Well, if we're calling it neck turn, the end of it just turns, but it's, it's neck turn now. <laughs> we are neck turn investigators. I just, I really wish I had the X-Files music like on demand. Look, in this stream and on this channel, we discuss the real things, like neck turns. <laughs> the good luck turn back to Anderson in the Mass Effect 3 opening animation. Oh, oh, guys, are we still doing this? <laughs> More versions of Shepard turning their neck. More neck investigations. And I'll bring every Here it is, I gang. Have. Oh, snap! Oh, snap, guys! I'll bring Replay. Good luck. Versus... It's so, like, swingy, you know? <laughs> it's not Shepard. Because Shepard does not turn their neck that way. Let's go back to this, shall we? cannot fit a human head into this helmet. It could very well be a an AI version of Shepard. I hope not though. It's actually Kai Lang, they pull a Star Wars and revive him. I, if they do that, I would scream. <laughs> Can you imagine if like we're all super hyped and we're like, guys, Shepard's coming back. Liara and Garrus are coming back. And instead none of them are back and it's just Kai Lang. Everyone would rip their hair out and just, it would be the end of everything. <laughs> We would all spontaneously combust. If if only Kai Lang got brought back. Oh my goodness. So I should probably wrap it up because you guys have been stuck. It's been three hours and 30 minutes. Okay, this is how we're gonna end the stream. I'm Atharia. And this is my favorite franchise on the Citadel. You will not be able to reconnect. Yes, goodbye.